Hi beautiful friends. Um, today I want to touch on love and fear a little bit. Um, it's big. It's very big. It's pretty much everything. Um, but what I really want to focus on, the aspect of it I want to focus on today is in regards to making decisions, you know, decision making can be, it can be really stressful, it can be a lot. Um, it's something that I, I've definitely struggled with in my life, you know, the ability to just be able to make a decision and, you know, not worry about all the you know, oh, am I making the right decision, or, you know, what's going to happen if I don't make the right decision? Um, what is the right decision? Is there an actual right decision? You know, and if so, what, what is it? Um, so, I think it's something that can be a big struggle for many, many people. Um, I found, you know, times I feel more drained just trying to make a decision than, you know, probably the outcome of whatever the decision, even if it was the wrong one, <laughs> would have on me. Um, lately, a new question I've been asking myself that's been helping me a lot with decisions, um, and firstly, before I go into that, <clears throat> well, it's kind of related, but, you know, when you're making, trying to make a decision, it's best, and this, this all lines up, but decisions made in the head versus decisions made in here. Um, I could take this so many places. I'm going to try to keep it simple. Basically, love versus fear when you're thinking about a decision or feeling a decision out, trying to figure out what to do. Love being this part, fear is usually this part, for the most part. I'm not saying logic has no purpose ever, but I find that often the brain, the brain stuff when it comes to making decisions, a lot of it tends to be tied to fear. And so the, the simple basic question that I like to ask myself when I am thinking about a decision is, okay, am I making this decision, or say I'm like, I'm leaning in the direction of a way, is this choice based in love, or is it based in fear? And, I mean, you can just, you can just tell, I mean, you know. You know, like, if you really, if you look at it that way, that simple, that straightforward, is it a love versus fear, and you think about what's behind the decision, because you know, you're you, and you know, you know what's there. It's, it's really pretty easy to see what you're doing when you look at it that way. I am trying to make all of my decisions based in love and not fear, which sounds, you know, sounds like a good idea, right? Wouldn't you rather, I mean, come on, love, <laughs> love versus fear. Who, you know, you're making decisions. Who do you really, who do you really want in the driver's seat of your life? Do you want, do you want love driving your life or do you want, you know, fear and insecurity and you know, being scared. Do you want to make a decision, really, because you're scared? Um, you know, a lot of big decisions, and this big decisions, little decisions, but a lot of, um, a lot of decisions are, decisions involve change, and change can be really hard for, you know, most people, because we're, we're very afraid of the unknown. 
which is usually tied to change because we know something, we're used to doing it a certain way. So, you know, change can be scary. So oftentimes when we're trying to make a decision that's related to change, you know, the fear is very much there. And a lot of times people do make those kind of decisions based in fear because they're scared of the change, they're scared of the unknown. And we all do things when we're ready. We do things in our own time. Nobody makes every decision from the right place all the time. I don't. Um, you know, that's we just we do the best we can with where we're at at the time. But ultimately, if you want to make the best the best decision for you, the best decision for your future, for your now. The, the decision that's going to align you with your, you know, your higher self, your higher purpose, and take you where you, you ultimately want to go, then it's gonna, it's gonna need to be the one, ultimately the one that's in love, the one that's coming from love. And it can be scary. It can be scary to make that love decision. <laughs> But once you, once you decide and once you really understand that feeling, I mean, it really just, it really just all makes sense. It just makes sense. You want to move forward with your life in a way that's good. It's good for you. That's going to get you what you want, where you ultimately want to go. And like I said, you know, it, it's really very simple. It really is. If you truly, if you're truly looking, truly looking to make a change and you really want what's best for you, just ask yourself. And you know, when people are making decisions, a lot of times they'll make like a pros and cons list and there's nothing wrong with doing that. Like I've done that before. Um, sometimes there's, there's different reasons. Sometimes it's not all black and white, but even if you make like a pros and cons list, Read the pros, read the cons. You're gonna be able to tell, you know, write them out, look at them. What what are they based in? This, you know, positive and this negative. You know, is this, a, is, are you listing something as a negative because you're scared? You know, or even a, a positive, either way. But again, you can apply that same principle to even doing things like that, adding things like that into decision making, because it's not always one question. So I just wanted to share that basically because maybe it will help you on your journey to get where you want to go. That's, that's all I have to say about that for now. And I wish you a beautiful and amazing day. And that's it for now.